A physician preceptor is an experienced doctor who serves as a clinical role model for learners. Do you want to take my chart so that you can... When medical students or residents spend time training in rural Alberta, it's more likely they will consider practicing in rural Alberta. Their clerkship in a rural community can be as short as three weeks, or as long as a full year. Preceptors matter, because without them, these students would never have a rural training experience. As a rural preceptor, we need you because you have offerings that nobody else has. You're a potent role model. You help our learners understand what relationship is within a community as a whole. And that's a richness that they need as they become our next colleagues. My name is Aisha, I'm a medical student working with Dr. Ram today. Okay. Aisha Kashif is a third year medicine student from the University of Calgary Cummings School of Medicine. She's in Drumheller for a four week rural clerkship. Her preceptor, Dr. Rathesh Ram. Yeah. I quite enjoy the spontaneity of, of reviewing cases with learners and they will always bring very unique perspectives and it's because they're the right at the forefront of whatever new treatments or new management strategies. Dr. Ram had no intention of practicing in a rural area. He had a PhD in epidemiology and expected that he would be doing academic medicine in the city. But when he came to Drumheller for a six-month rural residency, that all changed. It totally shifted where I was going, what I was going to do in life, and 100% for the better. This is the first time Aisha has practiced medicine in a rural area. I'm really happy that I came to Drumheller. When I chose it, I was like, okay, this is the land of the dinosaurs, I want to be here. But this actually ended up being a really, really good experience in terms of like just teaching me about how you can kind of set up your clinic in a really efficient way. And Celia Walker did a year-long clerkship in Rocky Mountain House. She was part of the University of Calgary's Longitudinal Integrated Clerkship Program, or UCLIC. The most important thing about intubation is body position, right? Mm -hmm. So they talk about sniffing the morning air. Her primary preceptor was Dr. Duet Dowling. It's been such a great opportunity to show them what it's like to work in a rural area. That comes with a significant um, benefit to myself because uh, these medical students are so smart and they bring so much energy towards my practice and my patients and it pushes me towards providing them excellent time in the rural areas, showing them what it's like to work as a rural generalist. Yeah, he's the best. He is so knowledgeable in the city. You're meeting new doctors every day, new preceptors, and you don't often get to develop that relationship and that trust. But longitudinally in a, in a rural uh, training program, you do get to. Carry on down the hall. Okay. Dr. Ken Burness is the community medical director in Barhead. As a preceptor, he knows that hosting students can be a great tool for recruitment. The future of our business is getting new people here, mentoring young people. And they bring a host of things to our community. They get to see the latest and, and greatest in the tertiary care centers. And, you know, sometimes they have new ideas that we haven't seen before. Paul Barber did a three-week rural family rotation with Dr. Burness. It was really good. Like, as a medical student, we're always looking for people we can draw inspiration from for how we want to build our practice and he's very much one of those mentors. Rural preceptors shape the future careers of those they mentor. I am very glad I did a rural program and it has definitely confirmed that I want to be doing rural medicine. Dr. Melody Biette did part of her rural residency in Spirit River. Dr. Danae Wolfert was her mentor. Dr. Wolfert remembers her initial thoughts when she was asked to be a preceptor. I was quite nervous um, because I didn't really think I was like qualified enough to be teaching, but it's been a fantastic experience. It's been really fun. All the residents have been fantastic doctors. Oh, you can squeeze way harder than that. Dr. Deanna Funk did part of her residency in Spirit River. Shortly after, she came back here to practice full time. And I really enjoyed my time here, and that was a big part of the reason that I ended up coming back. All right, we'll start off. I'll have a look in the ear you have that good experience in a place, it's much more likely that they'll either think about coming back here or going to another rural area. Both universities offer the supports you'll need as a new preceptor to guarantee success. Hey, I knew we'd find one. Dr. Ram is a director for the University of Calgary's UCLIC program. I do a lot of onboarding for sites and preceptors, and that's usually just meeting with someone and talking through it. 
for most physicians, especially in rural areas, usually that's enough. You know, if they've been considering it and thinking it, just having another colleague that has gone through and able to answer questions and help, a lot of the time that's, that's really all the confidence boosting they needed. The supports that the faculties have for you, both in Calgary and in Edmonton, are rich. We want to be in relationship with you. And the joy of my life is to be on the phone and in the car and in your office uh, whenever needed. Each year, the University of Calgary hosts an event called Cabin Fever. It's a three-day conference for preceptors. It's free to attend, and the focus is on the latest trends in rural medical education. The University of Alberta hosts a similar event in Edmonton each autumn called Fall Harvest. It's not easy always with learners and residents. And if it's not easy, that's why we're here, so that your life as teacher can be easy. We want this to be a joy for you and to be a highlight of your day and a reason to come to work. If you're interested in becoming a rural preceptor or you have more questions, here is where to start. For the University of Calgary Cummings School of Medicine, email dlri at ucalgary.ca. For the University of Alberta, email the Office of Rural and Regional Health at randrh at ualberta.ca.